<laughs> another day, another tool. Hi, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to talk about clipboard histories. A clipboard history is probably not the most interesting thing to talk about, but it is super helpful. Everybody knows you can copy and paste stuff on your computer. Wouldn't it be easier to also be able to search what you copied previously? Because that is so helpful. Now to kind of understand the concept, you copy something, you paste it somewhere else. You copy something else, you paste it somewhere else. But then you want to come back and you remember that you copied something at some point, but now you have to search it again or you have to open the application where you copied it from again and stuff like that. Why not just search your copy or your copy history? There are a bunch of tools out there that do exactly that. Today I want to talk about a couple of them, free as well as paid. I want to mention one thing first. I will talk about a tool called Alfred tomorrow and the day after. And Alfred actually offers a clipboard history as well, but I will not go into details in this video. What I will show you today is other tools that can do the same thing, but only do clipboard history. I personally would definitely use Alfred because it can do so much more and is not just a clipboard history tool. But if you don't want to pay the premium price of Alfred, the other clipboard history tools are a great way to get started. First up, there is a tool called Copy Clip. And the great thing about Copy Clip is it is free. I would recommend it if you absolutely don't want to spend any money. But there is a new version of Copy Clip and it is Copy Clip 2 for Mac. And this is much, much better than Copy Clip. It is definitely improved and it only costs $4.99. So this is a very cheap version. And I will show you how Copy Clip 2 works on my computer. Just to mention it as well, I also found a cool tool called Paste. This seems like it is kind of a newer tool. They also are working on an iOS solution and it looks like a more visually pleasing or more powerful tool which does copy files and images and stuff like that. I personally don't really look for something like that. I am super happy with the one that I'm offered in Alfred. And if Alfred wouldn't offer a clipboard history, I would still use Copy Clip because the paste here is a little more expensive still. Just as I mentioned, check this one out if you're interested in getting into this kind of stuff. But it is $10 versus $5. So please t try them, test them and download the free trial. See for yourself which one you like better. Now I wanted to show you how Copy Clip works. You just download the free trial, install it on your Mac and then start it. So once you set up the Copy Clip 2, you get something like this into the menu bar and there you basically have your clipboard history. And then you also have the preferences and the settings. You have here a mechanism to stop recording and you have the preferences. I would for sure keep those toggle keys here and set them to something you prefer maybe. Uh, it's very very useful to in the middle of typing something just hit control and spacebar and then you can instantly search your copy history. Of course just as I mentioned before start at login is super helpful. I am not going to set this because I have another tool that I use for clipboard history so I don't really use this one. But if you are setting it for login, then I would say this on, this on, and this one off, because it is a menu bar tool. You don't really need a dock icon. The one thing I would also look into is the exceptions. This is an area where you can define applications which should not be recorded. For example, your password manager or something like that. You probably don't want to have those passwords in your clipboard history or especially in the clipboard history stored. So better keep that in mind. And in the advanced settings, there is one that is very important. Here you can say how many clips should be remembered. I would probably set it to 230 because the more the better, it's really, really useful. But now, how does it actually work? Let's go into the text editor, for example, and create a new document and maybe a second document. So let's say we have some text on the left side and we have a document on the right side and now we want to bring stuff over. So for example, I go here and copy this one and then I also copy this one. Now, if I go here into the new text document, I can obviously just paste this, but this is the last thing that I copied, the Twitter at Spiegel.io. If I want to have the email, I would have to either go back to the uh, text editor here, copy it again, uh, select and copy it again, and then I can paste it here again. 
The alternative is now I can go here and I see that I have copied this one. And if I'm just in the flow of typing something, I can just control spacebar. I instantly go to the search of my clipboard history. Now the first nine results will be mapped to the keyboard shortcuts of command and then the number one to nine. But I can also search, for example, I know that my email is chris at and then it will just select that. Go down with your arrow key, hit enter and it's instantly inserted. The fast thing, of course, would be to control space, command one, instantly inserted, control space, command two, you get the second result. And this works amazing. It is wonderful to have something like that. And I have to say, it definitely improved my workflow. Are you using a clipboard history? If so, which tool do you use? And is Copy Clip a good tool to use? As mentioned before, I'm using Alfred. I will talk about it tomorrow. Until then, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these videos. Like it and share it with your friends if they need something like a clipboard history to improve their workflow. In the description below you will find all the links to the tools I showed in this video and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and to be on instantly notified about new videos you can also hit this little bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload. And of course you can also follow me on social media especially Instagram for photos and there my profiles are always at Spiegel.io. Now I hope your day was already great and I was able to improve it a little bit by showing you about clipboard histories. I will see you in the next video and there I am going to talk about Alfred and what that tool can do.